circles in this country have played a very important role in terms of economic development for our country. In fact, from the statistics that we have, uh, circles have been able to mobilize 1.2 trillion in terms of savings, uh, loans 1 trillion, and asset base 1.7. Not all circles have been run the way you have run yours. There, there, there are several, <coughs> there are several uh, challenges, especially in the small ones. But worse off, cooperatives, leave alone circles, but now cooperatives that are in uh, agriculture, they are the worst run. Uh, the circles, the regulations is there, but of course we need to improve. And that's why we have come up with the cooperatives bill, which is before parliament, to strengthen corporate governance. And I'm happy to note that corporate governance is one of your, your core pillar. Yeah, that is very, very important and capacity building. The things you are doing here, you cannot do unless you have capacity. So capacity building is also one of your pillars. But I'm, I'm, I'm very much impressed about your technology. The technology, and it's not cheap. And that's why <coughs> small circles are not able to afford the technology that you have. But what we are saying that uh, you can also help them uh, <coughs> ride on your technology. On Wednesday, I've summoned all my officers so that we go through uh, the legislation that are there and see the gaps that we can make in the amendment or come up with the fresh legislation that to recognize cooperatives as a enabler for economic development through small businesses, micro, small, and medium, supported by the cooperative movement, mobilization by the cooperative, then supporting the, the micro, small, and medium enterprises. That, that is what will spur uh, the economic development of this country. That's how we will create more wealth for our people. That's how we will create more jobs. Uh, in the future, what we are thinking of is that we must have a strong federation of circles. This strong federation will facilitate the members to be able to, to regulate themselves. You regulate yourself so that government is not everywhere. Government just to oversight, to make sure that uh, the public's money is safe. That is all. But you regulate yourself. Any member who goes astray is punished within the same system. The, like the Law Society of Kenya, like me, I'm an accountant. We have the Institute of uh, Certified Public Accountants. So if you have a problem, then you can't go and get a job elsewhere because you can't steal here. Then you continue eh, getting jobs. So you will be blacklisted. 